you understand the process, right? Some of you might be working with less capital, some of you much more capital. It gets fun when you have a lot more, right? But how do you get to having more? You have to become more. This is the one, number one thing that most people won't do in the room. <laughs> how are we feeling? Good. All right, yeah, I know, I'm sorry, Bob. Like, I really, <laughs> like his beard grew three inches. <laughs> Um, what I will say is this, some of you will be upset with me by the end of this, and I'm very much okay with that. Some of you will be super excited, run through walls after I'm speaking, and the rest of you will do absolutely nothing. So this is for those of you that will actually go and take action based on the things that I'm going to tell you. I'm not here to be your friend today. That is not my intention. I'm here to tell you the things that most people won't. Even the people that love you have a hard time saying some of the things that I'm gonna say. And I'm grateful that I'm in this position because I don't get to hear you talk shit to me after I <laughs> say what I'm gonna say. Um, but this is all out of love. So, number one, accept the power of this skill and your potential, okay? Here's the reality. A lot of what we do, we actually don't even know the extent of how far we can take these things. So let's start off with trading first. Why is trading valuable? To you. Actually, you know what? I got some traders in here. Shout it out. One reason why trading is a valuable skill set to you. Location freedom. Location freedom. Can't be taken away. Can't be taken away. Lifetime. Lifetime what? Lifetime. So you have it for a lifetime. Anybody else? Time freedom. Time freedom. Anybody else? Extra. It's extra income. Mm -hmm. Exactly. It doesn't have to be the main thing. Amazing. So there's a lot of reasons why trading is such a good skill set to have. For some of you, Right now, you don't even believe you're gonna be able to do it. I'm gonna make sure you leave here knowing that you will. But what I will say is this, there's a couple key things that completely change the landscape of how you look at money, time, and yourself. The first one is this is uncapped income potential. This is not guaranteed income potential, but it's uncapped. What that means is there is no limits. There are no limits. Is anybody here, would you be thrilled and ready to quit your job if you made $1? No. No, no right? Uh, what if you made $10? Well, what if you had $100,000? And you did 2% of $100,000. Let's say you did that this week. 2K. And that's not bad, right? It's good. Are we happy with that? All right, well, what if you have a million in capital? And you do 2%. What does that look like? $20,000. So, okay. My point is this. It's not that it's too excited and to paint this crazy vision, but it is just to create awareness that the exact same thing that you do day one, where you make 2%, the exact same activity can pay you so much more later on. But you have to endure. You have to develop. You have to have patience. You have to be consistent. But it's the exact same work. What I want you to understand is this. It is very simple. And this is why the game of trading is so interesting. Because it's so simple that we oversimplify the process. The action, super easy. You just, like, if you can move, you can make this happen. You understand the process, right? Some of you might be working with less capital. Some of you much more capital. It gets fun when you have a lot more, right? But how do you get to having more? You have to become more. Location freedom. Again, remember the first topic was accept the power of this skill and your potential. The power of the skill, location freedom. Where? Let me know where your families are from. Just shout out loud. Mexico. Mexico. Fiji. Fiji. Dominican. Dominican. Thailand. Yo, my boy. I love you and your people, bro. It's one of my favorite countries in the world. Um, and everybody else too, I swear. Um, <laughs> um, I was talking to Miguel, and he was telling me about how much he was paying for rent. And <laughs> y'all have been scammed. <laughs> Cali rent, Cali. trash. <laughs> Am I right? Am I right? You're right. Yes. <laughs> so, guess what? Let me, who here pays more than 3000 for rent? Raise your hand. 3000 no. yeah. So, you go with this skill set. You can go to Thailand. You can go to Thailand. And guess what happens? In Thailand, Nancy and I went to Thailand for like two months. 
we had like, I think like 40th story, 10 house thing, 360 pool, the whole thing, right? 1500. Wow. What? A month. 1500 a month? Yeah. Oh my goodness. So this skill set. <laughs> saves you money because you can do it anywhere else. We've been programmed all of our lives to go through a certain process to eventually get a job, but what happened is that we get stuck. Yes. And I'm not just talking mentally and socially and emotionally, physically too. So for you to just have access to move, right? Some of you maybe in the room can't actually leave because then you can't come back. Well, guess what, with this skill, you don't need to come back. <laughs> just keep it at 100. I've had students literally do that. They dominated this, you go, yo bro, I'm out, I'll see you in like five years maybe, because that's when they'll let me back in. And it worked out. So all I'm saying is this can completely unlock you. That's what we call this event, unleashing. Because it's about breaking down those barriers and those chains, whether they're physical or they're mental. Lastly, complete ownership. This is the part that most of you are not ready for. This is the part that most of you aren't ready for, and it's the following. Everything that you earn from this is because of you, and everything that you lose from this is because of you. So showing up doesn't get you paid anymore. Doing whatever your manager says doesn't get you paid anymore. Yeah, now you gotta do the right things. So this isn't the modern Americanized skill set where you get a certificate for participating. To earn, to grow, you gotta do it, you gotta do the work. So number two, non-negotiable. You need to be intentional. You need to be highly intentional with what you do. Nothing that happens going forward is gonna happen by accident. Everything happens on purpose. You need to understand your purpose and your why when you do these things. What's money for for you? And what is money for? Access. Access. To what? Health. For Health? Health? Mm -hmm. Amazing. What's money for, for you? Money? Yeah. Freedom. Freedom. What does that mean to you? Uh, being able to support my family. Being able to support your family. Alright, what's... Bank not checking the bank account. That's, that feels nice. So here's the thing. A lot of times, we start making money. But what happens? Eventually, you forget why you even started in the first place. Something interesting is, and, and someone here I know is thinking it, you're like, I want to make money so I can pursue my dream. You have to dial in on this. If you don't and you forget, you're going to quit. Because then what happens is you just do things that are routine. I'm sorry, I'm probably spitting all over you, bro. My bad. I'm like all up in this space. I'm going to spit on him, okay? So, uh, so, so what I will say is this, guys. You need to be highly intentional. And the moment you start to forget why you're going through whatever process you're going through, it's all gonna crumble. When I started trading, I had $200 in my bank account, and in a few hours, I had $0 in my bank account. Right? That's how that started. And I did the same process for like nine months. But why did I keep going? It's because what I wanted was, was freedom. Like I wanted to never have to say and listen to anybody ever again. And I've been able to do that for the last seven years. Right? You guys know, thank you. Woo! So, but that's, that's what pushed me. And here's what happens. Some of you maybe already are there. Some of you are going to other levels. Some of you are in the journey. But eventually what happens, and for some of my wealthier friends that are here, you get to certain levels of money. You attain certain things. And if you forget why you did it in the first place, or if you don't change it, it all crumbles again. I saw something beautiful happen this year and last year with some of my close friends, and they had their first child. The change that I, see, that I saw was it was mind-blowing. Like the way that they move, how intentional that they are. Number three, the third non-negotiable. Create process-based goals. Can someone share one of their goals with me? Anybody? Retire your parents. Retire your parents, all right. That's a result. Walk 45 minutes a day. Walk 45 minutes a day. That is a goal. Stick Anybody else? Schedule. Stick to your schedule, that's a goal. Well, become an educator. Become an educator. That's the result, actually. <laughs> Goals are not what you receive, right? Goals are not the output. Goals are the input. It's what you do. It's different. Most of the things that we call goals is a consequence of goals. 
goals are the things that are in your control. So for example, let's say you want to retire your parents. How do you do that? What needs to happen for that consequence, for that result to happen? A whole bunch of things. So for example, retiring your parents, it seems so far because there's no steps along the way really, or you haven't written them out yet. For example, get out of debt. That's a result. How do you get out of debt? What would be a goal to get out of debt? Work more hours. Work more hours? Cut out, cut, out, cut out expenses, right? That's a goal. Right? I'm going to pay $500 a month extra on my credit cards. That would be a goal. That's in your control. That's in your power. So let go of time-based results. This is part of three. Let go of time-based results. Here's what I hear all the time. I want to do blah, blah, blah percent every day. I want to do blah percent every week. I want to do insert the blank percent every month or every year. Is that a goal or is that a result? Result. result. If you're brand new, you're thinking, yo, if I can make $100 a day, yo, that'd be lit, bro. If I can do $1,000 a week, bad. Yeah. So that's a result. A goal would be how many times are you showing up to the live sessions that we're doing? That's a goal. Can, let's say I want to show up to seven sessions this week. You do that for some years, you're going to be all right. What's another goal as a trader? Stick to your plan. I'm going to stick to my trading plan. That's a goal. I'm going to only stick to these things. That's a goal. Let's say you're in business. How many sales calls am I doing every single day? How many exposures are my ads running? Let's say you have an e-commerce store. You have a traditional store. Right. How many exposures is this happening on my store? So your goals are things that are in your control. The results, that's different. You set specific actions that need to happen every single day. Would, would it be more likely that you get it done? Yes. Yeah. Absolutely. So focus on that. That should be your focus number one. What do I need to be? Who do I need to be? What's the standard that you have for yourself? You ever ask yourself that? You ever like define who is the ideal version of me? So define who you want to be. Like make it very, very clear. This is the person that I am. And then you know, all right, I hit target today or I didn't. But if we're not clear, then how could you possibly get what you want if you don't even know who you want to be? What about your standards? What time do you wake up? How many hours do you put into this or that? How do you treat people? What are your morals? What are your values? What do you stand for? What don't you stand for? Right? So make it very clear on who you need to be. Otherwise, you could be falling short every single day, but you don't even know. And then you're surprised you don't have the life that you want. Number four, track and document everything. These are non-negotiables to being a good trader and really just to be successful in life. Track and document everything. This is annoying. <laughs> Trust me, this, this part sucks. Out of all nine, this is the one that I would say is the most irritating. But what you track will grow. Right, every day, just weigh in. Hop on there. All right, yep, still fat. <laughs> <laughs> but just document it out. You know, maybe it's 200, maybe it's 180, 130, whatever y'all want. Write it down. Or just take a picture. That's it, that's all I'm saying. Did nothing else. This is my only, <laughs> my only advice on this topic. See what happens. You're gonna do something. Because now you're keeping your eye on something. You're gauging something. Guess what? Do that with your bank account. Here's what you do. Before you look on Instagram, before you check your text, before you check the text that you don't have, check your bank account. Check it every day. Watch what happens. I can guarantee you, you will move differently. So you wake up, what do you do? You track the bank account and you go, this is delightful. Or, fuck. Um, <laughs> here's what's happening. All of a sudden, you're actually keeping yourself accountable, but you're just going through the process. Once you're done trading, or while you're trading, what are you going to do? Document everything. You're going to document. Why? The last thing you want to do is go look at the loss, right? Yes. You don't, you don't want to like look at it like, ah. Why would I want to do that? But guess what? You already know what I'm going to say, right? That's what the lessons are, 100%. It's always there. It will stay there. And it can always be uncovered. There's a massive difference between experience. 
so what you have gone through, and evaluated experience. Here's the difference. Experience is something you went through, and that's it. If you were paying attention enough while it was happening, you got something out of it, okay? But an evaluated experience is almost like you doing an, an investigation on whatever you just went through. <coughs> this is where you can really get quantum leaps. This is where you can take and extract the most out of everything that you go through. So if you had just lost the trade, but you go back and you dig through everything you just went through, why did you do what you do? Why did you get in when you did? Why did you get out when you did? Why were you influenced? Why did you have hesitation, doubt, fears, or any of it? Guess what happens? That trade was just a loss 15 minutes ago. But now that you just dove in there, you Sherlock Holmes this entire situation, now you come out and you have so much value. So the same exact moment, completely transformed just like that. So there's just a gold mine in all the trades you've already taken. And you're just leaving it there. Because you don't want to go get the fucking shovel. Grab the shovel, do the work, document it. Because y'all want to be better at trading, right? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. All right, do this part. <coughs> this is the one, number one thing that most people won't do in the room. Because it's the most tedious. If you can't even keep up with what you're doing, are you even, do you even know what you're doing? Right. Number five, non-negotiable. A trading strategy that you can follow effortlessly. If you couldn't explain it to your little cousin in first grade, you don't know it well enough. Keep it stupid, simple, easy as it goes. The best trading strategy is the one that you actually have the discipline to follow. That's the best one. It might not be mine, and that's fine. Easy to follow. Actually, Lou is a really good example. His trading strategy is very, very simple, and it works really well for him because he knows exactly what to do. It's super simple, and he doesn't make mistakes with it. When you see this, you get in. When you see that, you get out. That's it. That's it. So you need to understand that. Figure out what works for you. Trading is a personalized experience. The way I trade and the way Lou trades is very different. But the reason it works is because we know what works for us. So discipline, simplicity. Now here's the key part. Discipline. Mm. Discipline, discipline, discipline. If you have a plan for yourself and you don't follow it, do you still think you deserve the outcome of that plan? Absolutely. No. No, right? No. So we say that. But when we lose, how do we feel? We still feel some type of way, right? Yeah. Like let's let's just all be transparent for a second. You lose a trade and you're just like, the audacity of this one. <laughs> what, what in the world? Like why? Alright, it definitely glitched, because it definitely wasn't me. <laughs> it was me. The reality is this. We have a hard time with discipline. Because we're programmed to always do what will happen first rather than what we know will happen for sure later on. Always. Every time. We will always overestimate the short term and we'll always underestimate the long term. The most successful people that I know are the ones that are always thinking five, ten years down the line. But what happens? Oh, you need to figure out trading in three days? You quit. You were super hyped that first moment, but then three days later, three weeks later, three months later, it's just not, I don't see the results, man. Duh. You're not supposed to. That's not your time. What I do want to set is in terms of expectations really clear. Anybody that's starting like now, or maybe you've been trading, what I want to let you know is this. The beginning of your journey is all about experimentation and gathering data about yourself and, and the markets. That's it. So have zero expectations. If you need to make money like right now, if you gotta pay for rent like tomorrow, trading is not your savior for today, but it can give you access to freedom later on and forever. There's different skills that can create income for you in the short term and the long term. Short term income, what is that usually? Sales. Sales is almost always gonna be the short term income that you can get and develop. 
This, this is not that. I just want to keep that abundantly clear. But the ROI on this is basically infinite. All right, six. Would anybody ever want to go through a time machine? Compressed yes. time. You guys ever heard of the hyperbolic time chamber? Hyperbolic time chamber, basically you go in this thing and you experience years, but in reality it was like a minute to happen. We don't live in an anime, so that doesn't exist. But getting feedback on what you're doing right now from people that have done it for years it's basically the same thing. If I wanted to develop in business, in life in general, what, what, what should I do? I should get feedback from Lozaldo Tavares, who's done absolutely mind-blowing things. He's been an entrepreneur for a super long time. He's made multiple melons in this industry. And so guess who I want to listen to? Him. Who do I want to listen to? If I want to build a massive movement, if I want to be incredible at sales, I should probably listen to the person that's done over two billion in sales, right? right. Yep. And hey, am I doing this right? You go, no. And I, what do I say? Thank you. What should I do differently? Trading is the same thing. If you are trading, you're analyzing the markets, you're doing anything, what's the number one thing you want to do? Drop the link to your chart, put it in a group chat, tag the people who know more than you and say, can you give me some feedback? And what happens is the following. They will answer the questions that you don't even know you should have yet. They're literally filling the unknown for you. You don't even know what you don't know, and that's the answer that they're giving you. So this is the cheat code. Ask for feedback. Drop another chart in the chat. Get feedback. If you're in other industries and you're doing other income streams, it's the exact same process. If you're in sales, guess what? Have people who know how to close listen to your calls and they'll tell you exactly what you need to do differently. It's the same thing. Like if all of these things, yes they're about trading, but guess what? Success is basically fractal and the same everywhere. Mm -hmm. Alright. Number seven, non-negotiable skill for trading. Money management. Money management. Alright, so we're gonna break this down to three things. Number one, savings account. The most basic, simple thing you could possibly do. Have a savings account. If you don't have a savings account, please go make one. <laughs> right now. Well, don't leave, don't leave, but like after this, grab your phone, do, do the research, do the thing. And here's what's awesome. Y'all know we live in 2023, right? Yes. Yeah. All right, some of us, amazing. <laughs> There's this thing called automatic deposits. Use that thing. And here's what happens. Money comes in, however much that is. Before you go and spend it all, it takes it from you. It goes, no, no. <laughs> go into the savings account and then you do nothing. Do that for a few years. Can, can y'all follow those steps? Yes. yes. Amazing. But do the automatic. And have it go to an account that you're not gonna look at. One of the best things I ever did, 2015, I was making like negative money somehow. Trust me, it was a disaster. <laughs> and what did I do? Set up an auto deposit, $25. That was it. $25 every week. I forgot about the account. Literally forgot about it. And then it was 2022. And then seven years had gone by. I was so happy. I was like, yo, look at this money. This is awesome. 